Hello everyone, my name is Louis Moreau and I'm a user success engineer with Edge Impulse. Our mission at Edge Impulse is to empower embedded developers to build applications and solve real problems using machine learning without being an expert in machine learning. During this workshop, you will see how to classify images using the ESP32CAM. For those who are not familiar with this microcontroller, it is famous for its ultra low price, its extensive capabilities, and its energy efficiency. In production, it is also widely used in affordable IoT solutions. This demo will open up new fields of application by boosting this microcontroller with smart capabilities using Edge Impulse. Being a machine learning expert is no longer needed to classify images using transfer learning techniques, and let's see how. Start by creating an account on edgeimpulse.com and create a project. You will arrive on the dashboard, which is an overview of your project. The different steps we will follow will consist of acquire some data, create your model, train your model, validate it, and then download the compiled firmware. To acquire some data, add a new device. Here, we will use our smartphone, because it's probably the easiest way to do that. Show the QR code, flash it with your phone, and once done, you should see a successful, test, a successful box. Navigate to the Data Acquisition tab and grant the access of your phone to your camera and take a new picture. You should see it should arrive on the studio. Once your dataset is big enough, we can start by creating an impulse. An impulse consists of digital scenic processing and a learning technique. In our case, here we will process the image and use the transfer learning techniques to classify both cars and unknown pictures. Due to the hardware limitation, we will only train our model with 48 pixel square images. Then the, model, the transfer learning model will take as an entry the image and give the output. You can save your impulse and generate the features. So the features will take the raw data as an entry point and give you the process features as an output. You can then generate the features by clicking on the upper tab. You can click on generate the features. It should take a few seconds and then you will see the different points on this nice 3D visualization. It also gives you the average processing time based on your device performances. Now we can train our model. To do that, just navigate to the transfer learning tab. And I won't go into detail into the machine learning techniques, but we will use the mobile net v2 0.05 because it's really lightweight. You can obviously choose a different network, a different model uh, that suits you better. Just click on start training. It will take a few minutes and once done, you will see the average processing time and the visualization. I'll pause my video by now. And now we have a model fully trained um, with an overall accuracy of 91.2 and a loss of 0.21, which is a fairly good model. Um, one interesting thing is the confusion metrics. You can see which label has been, uh, which item has been misclassified uh, on the feature explorer. And um, you can see the on device performances, which is really useful. Now we have our model fully trained, uh, we can test our model uh, with the remaining data. Just so you understand better, um, we have test data. So in data acquisition, we have the training data and the test data. To test your data, you obviously need to add some, some items in it. So on the model testing, uh, you can uh, click on classify all and it will uh, gives you an overview of uh, how your model performs with other data that is been trained on. Let me pause the video for a few seconds uh, and I'll take you back. And we have a 90.16 accuracy on data that uh, has been unknown to the model, uh, which is fairly good. Now we are going to deploy our model. So we're going to choose the Arduino library, download it so that we can uh, import that library with the Arduino IDE. Let me open the Arduino IDE and then take you back.
now we have our Arduino IDE open. Um, to find this project, you can go to the Edge Impulse GitHub repository and look for the example ESP32 cam. Open the advanced uh, image classification uh, sketch and fill your Wi-Fi SSID and password. Once done, you can import the library uh, by including directly a zip library and import the library uh, onto the sketch. Let me pause the video so I can fill my credentials and run it. And here we are, the code has been uploaded. Let's open the serial console and wait until the board connects to the Wi-Fi. Make sure you're connected on the same Wi-Fi as the board and open the provided URL in a new tab. Here you can see a web interface where you can run your inference. And let me try to take a picture of a car and see if he can detect it. And here we are. See, that was easy. And let me take another one. And that's again a car. That's it for today. Uh, to sum up, what we have seen together is how to use Edge Impulse to collect some data, to train your model, to validate your model, and to compile the firmware. Then we have seen how to use the Arduino IDE with a provided example to run the inference on a small web interface. If you need further information, you can visit us at edgeimpulse.com and I will be happy to help you in the chat directly and to answer your questions. Thanks a lot for watching. Have a great day.